What its children become, that will the community become. George Sefade was born in Ghana and grew up in a large extended family. He came to Canada in 1979 to pursue a higher education and completed his PhD in philosophy at the University of Toronto and his postdoctoral fellowship at the University of Windsor. In 1991, he joined the Ontario Institute for Studies and Education at the University of Toronto. George is a full professor and is currently chair of Department of Sociology and Equity Studies. His academic work both evolved out of and informs his participation in community groups. He places a very strong emphasis on linking what we do in the university with what we do in the community. He's got a very, very strong commitment to the university being a place which is part of its local as well as a broader national and international community, very strong commitment to issues of social justice, very strong commitment to using the knowledge that we produce as academics for issues, for causes, for problems that affect people's everyday lives in some very, very concrete ways. George Sefade is also the first director and founding member of the Centre for Integrative Anti-Racism Studies at OISI. Anytime you, you want to do something which is relevant and useful, right, you also have to look at how people express some issues and concerns which are close to their hearts. And I think to me the question of racism, uh, oppression, anti-racism uh, is something which is at the heart of many of us and we want to work at it, we want to deal with it. We want to find a way to, to address it uh, rather than put it in a closet and not talk about it. From 1992 to 1995, George led a research project that explored the reasons minority students drop out of school. The findings provided guidelines to teachers who deal with students from marginalized communities. What is important about that project in terms of the community, the parents of these kids had an opportunity to be interviewed. The teachers had an opportunity to be interviewed. The policy makers had an opportunity to be interviewed and also um, students from here had an opportunity to participate. His research work is not just for the sake of research but for bringing about positive change and growth in society. I see that as a responsibility uh, for an academic, for a researcher, for a community worker to be able to make knowledge relevant to the communities that they are part of. Uh, and this is my contribution to help make Canada strong. George has authored several books including Anti-Racism Education Theory and Practice and The Social Reality of International Students in Canadian Post-Secondary Institutions. One of his co-authored books, Reconstructing Dropout, explores the issues of student disengagement and dropping out of school. He is the first president of the Ghanaian Canadian Association of Ontario, an umbrella group of Ghanaian Canadian cultural, ethnic and religious associations in Ontario. George has served on the boards of numerous community organizations, including the Central Neighborhood House, Tractors for Our Daily Bread, and the Board of Trustees of the Harry Jerome Scholarship Awards. He's a member of the Organization of Parents of Black Children and the Black Educators Working Group, and a patron of Anansakram of the African Cultural Heritage Group. George is all over the place in the community. We have various associations, about 20 ethnic associations, and we have more than 20 uh, religious associations, alumni groups, and all making the community the big community for the Ghanaians, you know, in Toronto. And he relates to all these communities, all the leaders, all the, the presidents and the executives of these, all these groups know George, and they they, they always want him to be part of whatever they do in their various groups. If you have a right to receive an education, you also have a responsibility to use the education to benefit, to make it relevant to members of the larger community. George Sefade has received numerous awards for his work and commitments to the community, including the 2003 William P. Hubbard Award for Race Relations from the City of Toronto, the Community Builder Award from the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the 1996 Volunteer Services Award from Ontario's Ministry of Citizenship, and the Volunteer Services Award from the Ministry of Culture, Tourism and Recreation. We have a saying that the individual is important, but the individual is important to the extent that he or she belongs to a community. The right of belonging comes with a responsibility to help build that and make it strong.